to be called a badass by Dory. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I would like to add, too, that uh, Chicago is not only a top city in this country, but we are ranked the top in the world as far as technology hubs go. So give Chicago a round of applause. <clears throat> you have to forgive me. I've just come back from a trip in Europe for the past month. Um, I had the great pleasure and opportunity to travel with World Chicago. I hosted someone from Slovenia, a woman who um, also empowers women in her country for a month and then by invite to attend and visit her country for two weeks. And I was exposed to all the opportunity there is before us. So globally, we have a lot of work to do. I'll let you, let you kind of get a little insight into my history, which was I didn't really plan this. <laughs> I was an architectural engineering student at Purdue. <laughs> I didn't finish. <laughs> um, <laughs> and found myself on this journey where I was working for a health insurance company and spent nearly seven years there and was really passionate about helping people find health insurance to the point where we influenced um, a direct sales department and eventually after 2008, 2009, the market crashed, you know, I was laid off from my work and was in Chicago for only three months and didn't know anybody here had wanted to take the information I learned in my career and apply it to an entrepreneurial way, and there was nobody really hiring for sales and marketing at that time. And really wanted to build this product, but I didn't know how to build it. So I had about $50,000 of my own savings to spend, and had seven years in the insurance industry and in healthcare, and where would I go next? What was I going to build? Who would I hire? Who would join me? How would I get the money to hire someone? So I learned how to code myself online before there was an 1871, before there was a coding school. And yet that wasn't enough. I needed to hire a HIPAA certified developer. And that was going to cost me a lot of money, so I need a venture capital. Now how do I do that? They didn't teach me that in school for engineering. And what I realized was this is actually very difficult. Even working in a very male-dominated world of the insurance, I had received five promotions in six years. It didn't seem that hard for me. I didn't find that glass ceiling yet. But with venture capital, it was a different world. And even seed investment from angel investors. How do you network? Where do you find the money to build a company and to see out a vision for a solution that, that you felt the problem to? The reason why that's important is because that encouraged me to not only activate the women around me and to teach them the things that I was not privy to, because why should it be so hard for every woman to learn the things that you need to know to get into the office or to be able to pitch to an investor? I believe that when you look at the root cause of the opportunities that we have, we've been working for a very long time. Feminism is, is nothing new the waves that we've had, but where, where else can we impact the future? And I really believe that it's with placing bets on each other, not only with our dollars that we spend, but in other women companies. Everybody in this room can be an angel investor. Now with equity crowdfunding, everybody in this room can place their bet on a woman's company and to see the opportunities evolve and build a new future. As Dory said earlier, we are responsible for creating that and inventing that. So I encourage all of you to, to really look into, I mean, as a social impact founder, I don't have a lot of expendable income, you have to know that. <laughs> but this year I made three bets on companies and female founders. I made my first three investments on an equity crowdfunding site called Republic. You can all do the same. You can also place bets on each other by, of course, supporting organizations like the YWCA and other organizations in the community. I'm grateful for being here, and I know I'm standing between you and the closing, so I just want to say thank you again, and let's build the future together. <laughs>